Hey YouTubers, Undertar9000 here back with another theory video. Today, I'm going to be discussing why I think that the mobile ports of Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 are actually canon. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, but Undertar is a freaking idiot. Fuck you. How can a port be uh, be canon? There was already a, a, a game before it that's canon and takes the same events. Dang it, I, I do that imitation every single video. Anyways, I know it might sound crazy, but I actually have a few reasons as to why this could actually be canon. First of all, the two mobile ports uh, of the classic games came out uh, came out after Sonic Generations. With the first with the first port only uh, being uh, 2 years away, being released in 2013. Now, if you haven't been living under a rock for about a few years, I'd say about six, then you'd know that Sonic Generations has classic Sonic in it. It also happens to have classic Tails, and he just appeared literally out of nowhere. Seriously, my happy introduction in Plush Adventures was better than that. Before classic Tails appears, Sonic tells Tails about, uh, about how uh, Green Hill Zone seemed familiar. How do you forget it if you travel back to it every single game in the franchise? Frick. So anyways, Tails claims that he hasn't seen it, but that's a uh, but that's before Classic Tails appeared out of nowhere. Now, until Sonic Forces, Classic Sonic had never actually uh, gone back to Green Hill Zone. But Tails' first appearance is in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and Sonic's first appearance is in well, Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 couldn't have happened in uh, the in uh, the Time Eater because, uh, I don't know, just, I don't think it could. And definitely in the, uh, not in that short amount of time. Like, have you, have you ever seen how hard Sonic 2 is? Seriously, think about that. So anyways, Classic Tales appeared out of nowhere. And at the end of the game, Classic Sonic and Classic Tales, spoiler alert, both go back to the classic era, time, whatever you want to call it. But in Classic Sonic's uh, trailer for Sonic Forces, he is referred to as another world uh, version of Sonic, or something like that. And if you complete uh, the game once with Sonic in uh, the in the mobile port of Sonic the Hedgehog 1, you can unlock Sonic and Tails. They will race through the game together as if it were Sonic the Hedgehog 2. But as I said earlier, Tails wasn't in the first Sonic game. Classic Sonic is supposed to be an earlier version of modern Sonic. So then why does it refer to him as another world Sonic? The answer is because he is exactly that. Now, this is going to explain one big plot hole in Sonic Generations. Tails not remembering Green Hill Zone. If he had been there before, then he would definitely remember Green Hill Zone, would he? I mean, Sonic didn't remember it, so I don't know. That's because, after the events of uh, Sonic Generations, Classic Tails is indeed another version of Tails. Alright, so, if uh, it was a time portal that Classic uh, Sonic and uh, Classic Tails both uh, jumped into at the end of Generations, then that would mean that uh, that uh, the opening scene of Sonic Generations is Green Hill Zone for modern Sonic, but modern Sonic's Green Hill Zone does not resemble that place at all. So I believe it's a portal to another world, and thus Tails gets to see Sonic 1 in the mobile port. It kind of makes sense if you think about it. This may also explain why uh, there hasn't been a, a Sonic 3 mobile port yet. Because in the classic uh, Sonic universe, Sonic 3 never happened. Instead, Sonic Mania did. Also, you can unlock Knuckles if you did not know about that. But, if Knuckles still- if Knuckles uh, believed that Sonic and Tails were his enemies- Or, wait, no, he, he wouldn't e even have known about them yet if this were the main universe. Why would he be fighting the same battle as them? The answer is simple. Because, in this universe, he is already their ally. 
That's why you can play as Knuckles in Sonic Mania. So, yeah, I hope you understand this theory. I know it's kind of complicated, but, yeah, that's kind of the thing about theories. They're complicated and go against what you already believed. What if I told you that Sonic was actually King Arthur? Wait, if that kind of nonsense can be canon, it was confirmed at the end of Sonic and the Black Knight, then I'm sure that this could be canon too. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, why don't you leave a like or subscribe? This is Undertron9000 signing out.